better. Resistor. Resistor. Class, this is two resistors in? Series. Series. So we're going to go through and derive the equations for two resistors in series and therefore multiple resistors in series. We're going to call this, of course, the electric potential difference across the battery or the terminal voltage. This is resistor one, this is resistor two. When we look at two resistors in series, you should be able to see that our little anthropomorphic charge, which is moving along the wire as it sits here. Woohoo, here I am, I'm going this way, I'm going this way, I'm going this way, I'm going this way. Woohoo, I get to go through this resistor, right? Does that have charge have any choice but to go through this other resistor as well? No, it must go through both resistors. Therefore, what do we know about the current through resistor one and the current through resistor two class? They're the same. So, for two resistors in series, the current through resistor one is equal to the current through resistor two, which is gonna be the same as the current delivered by the battery in this particular case. All of those currents are the same. We also then know something about the electric potential difference delivered by the battery or the terminal voltage in this particular case. That's equal to what, Mohit, in terms of the electric potential difference across resistors one and two? Uh, is it the EMF minus IR? Ah, that's, uh, we're, at this point, I'm ignoring the internal resistance. We're only talking about the terminal voltage. I'm not really talking about that. I'm comparing it to what we know about the terminal voltage across resistor, I'm sorry, the electric potential difference across resistor one and two. It's okay. I, I know I said way too much there. Winter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The electric potential difference. If you think about it, if this one's the negative, this one's the positive. If we know, for example, this one's at 10 volts, this one's at zero volts. This is going to be at 10 volts here. This is going to be at zero volts here. We don't know the voltage here, but we do know that the electric potential difference across one plus the electric potential difference across two is going to add up to 10. So for resistors in series, the electric potential difference is going to add. Therefore, we know electric potential difference equals current times resistance. We can substitute in current times resistance for each of these. The current delivered by the battery times the resistance, the equivalent resistance of the whole thing is equal to the current through uh, resistor one multiplied by the resistance for resistor one plus the current through resistor two times the resistance of resistor Everyone brought current to the party. And resistors in series simply add. So this is resistors in series. I should put R series here. We can instead look at resistors in parallel. resistors in parallel. We have our battery, we have resistor 1, and we have resistor 2. Resistor 1, resistor 2, our battery. Two resistors in parallel. Just so you know, this particular point right here is called a junction. I don't believe I've defined that before, but that is a junction. We have a junction here. We also have a junction right there. Our goal is to figure out the electric potential difference here. Clearly this is the positive and the negative. So we're going to have current going this way across the battery. So our little anthropomorphic charge is going this way. There it is. It's going that way. What happens at the junction? See here. It has to go one way or the other. Therefore, what do we know about the current delivered by the battery, Nick? They add. It's going to be equal to current one plus current two. We're going to have a current going through resistor one, and we're going to have a different current going through resistor two. And those are going to add up to the total current delivered by the battery. What do we know about the electrical potential difference delivered by the battery, the terminal voltage? Um, they're equal. They are equal. We know the electric potential difference across resistor 1 is equal to the electric potential difference across resistor 2. 
and it's also equal to the electrical potential difference across the battery or the terminal voltage. <coughs> we can rearrange our potential difference equals current times resistance to get current equals the electrical potential difference divided by the resistance. So we get the electrical potential difference across the battery or the terminal voltage divided by the equivalent resistance is equal to the electrical potential difference across resistor 1 divided by the resistance of resistor 1 plus the electrical potential difference across resistor 2 divided by the resistance of resistor 2. It's not enough for me. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta hear it better. Everybody got electric potential to the party. <laughs> That resistors in parallel are equal to 1 over resistance 1 plus 1 over resistance 2 plus dot 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 all of that raised to the negative 1 power. So, class, when you add a resistor in series, does the resistance go up or down? Up. When you add a resistor in parallel, does the resistance go up or down? I'll try that again. Okay. <laughs> Four resistors in series. Class, if you add a resistor, does the resistance go up or down? Oh. Uh -huh. Up. When you add a resistor in parallel, does the resistance go up or down? Uh -huh. Now, I do understand that there's a mite bit of confusion there because it's like, well, I can add a really, really large resistor, right? But realize no matter the resistance of the resistor you add, it adds another path for the electrons to flow through and therefore the resistance will be decreased. No matter what the resistance is that you add in parallel, it must decrease the resistance. If you think about it, it's like having a container filled with water. And water flowing out of the container from a hole. And you poke another hole in the container. No matter how small that hole is, the water will still flow out a little bit faster. So the resistance equations, are they the same as the capacitance ones, or opposite? They're opposite. Okay. They are not the same. That would be so too convenient. So <laughs> <laughs> <All right. coughs> so, I'm going to put a problem on the board. I'm going to give you about a five minute head start. We'll go from there. So, we have... Terminal A, we have resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, resistor 4, and resistor 5. Good. Resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, resistor 4, and resistor 5. This is point B. We know that the electric potential difference between points A and B is going to be 25 volts. I want to know two things. One, what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit? Two, what is the current through resistor three? You already know how to solve a problem like this because we've done it with capacitors. The, different, the equations are slightly different, and the, but the approach is exactly the same. I'll give you five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, the resistances are all, uh, I'm sorry, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, etc., etc. Sorry, I clearly did not make that, that it's not helpful. So, notice the resistance of, for example, resistor 1 is 1.0 ohms, resistor 2 is 2.0 ohms, etc., etc. about five minutes. So I'm going to start working out on the board, call on random people. You feel free to continue working on it. What do you see first? Okay, so we have equivalent resistor 4, 5. They are in series. Therefore, what do we do? Equivalent resistor 4, 5. So how do I figure out the resistance of 4, 5? Because they're in series, they simply add. So we have 4 plus 5, which is 9 ohms. So I can redraw our circuit diagram. We have resistor 1. Now we have resistor <coughs> 2, resistor 3, and equivalent resistor 4, 5. So we have resistor 1, 
resistor 2, resistor 3, and equivalent resistor 4, 5, A, and B. What do you see next? Tim? So we have equivalent resistor 2, 3, 4, 5 is then equal to what, Tim? Uh, parentheses 1 over resistor 1 plus 1 over resistor 2. I'm uh, sorry, 2 over plus 1 over resistor 3 plus 1 over resistor 4, 5, all to the negative 1. All to the negative 1. Okay, so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 9 to the negative 1 power. Equivalent resistor 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to? Five eight eight, okay. and that is of course in ohms. We can now redraw our circuit diagram. We have a resistor one and equivalent resistor two, three, four, five. Resistor one. Therefore, the equivalent resistance is equal to look. In other words, 1 plus 1.0588 ohms or 2.0588 with sig figs, we'll go with 2, 2.1 ohms, the equivalent resistance. That is, so basically, we can break it down so we have one equivalent resistor with a resistance of 2.0588 ohm. Dorfstetter, what next? Um, We can figure out the current total. Sure, how would we do that? Um, the delta V uh, equals V times So the terminal voltage is going to be equal to the, volt, the current delivered by the battery multiplied by the equivalent resistance. So we can figure out the current delivered by the battery is equal to the electric potential difference terminal or terminal voltage divided by the equivalent resistance. That was 25 divided by 2.0588. The current delivered by the battery is 12.1. Dimensions, so amps. Okay, we figured out the current delivered by the battery. What is this also equal to? Drink the current over resistor one and the current over equivalent resistor two, three, four, five. Good. Our goal is to get to the current through resistor 3. We are on mm -hmm. our way. Travis. Um, after that, I would say find the... Uh, um, we have figured out the current through here, which is the current through these two. Okay, um, well, the potential difference, uh, the terminal voltage uh, is going to be equal to the terminal potential difference of 1 plus potential difference of 2, 3, 4, 5. That is true, but at this point that actually is not the step we're going to go through because we don't know either of these electric potential differences. The only one that we know is the potential difference across the terminals here. Uh, Can we do um, V, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals current 2, 3, 4, 5 times resistance 2, 3, 4, 5? Hold up. 2, 3, 4, 5 times current 2, 3, 4, 5 times resistance 2, 3, 4, 5. We know the resistance, we know the current. So the current is 12.142916 multiplied by the resistance of 2, 3, 4, 5, which was our 1.0588. Now we can figure out the electric potential difference across 2, 3, 4, 5. 12.857. I'm sorry, take it. 12.857. 857, that's in volts. Now, we could go back and figure out the electric potential difference across one. Uh, there are two different ways we can get there, but that's not going to help us out because we're really looking for the current through three. Next, Miller. Um, you know that two, three, and four, five are in parallel. Mm -hmm. um, so that is all equal. So the this voltage. electric potential difference across 2, 3, 4, 5 is also equal to? The voltage of 2, the voltage of 3, and the voltage of 4, 5. 
Therefore, we have everything we need in addition in order to figure out the current across resistor 3, which is? Um, it's equal to I delta V3 equals I3 times R3. Therefore, the current across resistor 3 is going to equal the potential difference across 3 divided by the resistance across 3. The electric potential difference across 3, we just got to be our 12.8. Five, seven, divided by the resistance across three, which is just three. So we get 4.2856. We say figs 4.29 amps. Current cross resistor three.